I am here at Magic Kingdom for the After Hours event. If you aren't familiar with Disney After Hours, currently they're having events at Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Magic Kingdom. It's a specially ticketed event. With the After Hours ticket, you can stay in the parks from 7 p.m. until 1 o'clock in the morning. There is a special line for the event and a cast member holding up a sign telling you where to go. Since I'm a pass holder, instead of waiting in that line, I just went ahead and came in and I'm going to go grab my wristband at one of the two locations inside of the park. There's one at Tortuga Tavern and there is one near Stitch. I said Stitch, but I think I meant Monster Inc. Laugh Floor. I'm going to go look. All right, so it is a little bit before 7. The table's not set up yet. It is over towards the front of Tomorrowland. I am going to ride Buzz Lightyear because it's a 15 minute wait and then we will go and see about the table. Right now it is 6.48, so it's still a little bit before the event started. Fun fact, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin sign is the sign from Delta Dream Flight Ride that I loved. Alright, I just did buzz before the party started because I had some time to kill before I could get my little pamphlet and all. And it was basically a walk-on, so why not? If you've never ridden Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, it is a shooter-style attraction similar to Toy Story Mania at Hollywood Studios. You'll see After Hours check-in sign. Alright, so you go down this little pathway to check in. Got my wristband. It says after hours on it. And I got my pamphlet. Included with the event, you get select beverages, popcorn, ice cream novelties. There is a special fireworks show. They're going to be showing Disney Enchantment, which was the 50th anniversary fireworks. I cannot wait to see those again. So I'll get to see double fireworks tonight. There are two character greetings Main Street USA. Mickey Mouse and then Fantasyland at the Princess Fairy Tale Hall. And then there is a select number of attractions open. We'll see how many of those we can hit. All right, so I already did Buzz Lightyear. Monsters Inc. is a 10 minute wait. It's kind of hot out. I think I'm going to go do Monsters Inc. and then find my fireworks spot. The Magic Kingdom closes at 10 today for the regular guests. So it will be a little bit more crowded until 10 and then the crowd should drop drastically. All right, that was fun. It took a little bit longer than I expected, but it is now 7.43 and we have fireworks at, I think, 8. I'm going to double check that on my app. All right, I was wrong. Fireworks are at 9, so I have a little bit more time. Um, I am going to knock out some of the smaller attractions, like Tea Party, Barnstormer, Dumbo now and save the bigger, longer line attractions for later when the crowds leave. All right, Dumbo and the Barnstormer were a lot of fun. Now I'm going to head to Fantasyland. I think what I'm actually going to do is watch Happily Ever After in Fantasyland because I don't want to have to go against the crowds that are leaving the park to come back into Fantasyland. And I just watched it in front of the castle two nights ago. So I'm going to watch in Fantasyland, maybe knock out a couple more rides in Fantasyland right now beforehand. That way I can head towards some of the bigger rides after that. Enchantment I will be watching from the front in a prime spot because it is my favorite fireworks show and I'm so excited to actually get to see it again. I didn't think I would. Little Mermaid has a five minute wait so I'm going to go ahead and ride it. It's officially dark outside now. 
Um, the Little Mermaid was walk on, but it did go down twice while I was on it, so it took a little longer than expected. It is now 8.35 and the fireworks are at 9. Like I said, I'm going to do Fantasyland, so I don't really need to get there early. Um, but yeah, we're going to walk around, see what the lines look like. Mine train's still at a 50 minute wait. Kind of expected that though. Teacups. Alright, Mad Tea Party done. Now I think it's time to head to the fireworks. I've been debating my Tron strategy. I know you can't see me, but I think I'm going to do Tron immediately after Enchantment. Um, hopefully a lot of people aren't doing it that way, but I feel like if I head to it right at 10 when the event starts, a lot of people will have done that. And I don't want to wait too long. I really want to make sure I get a couple rides in Tron. ever after was so fun but now I'm gonna look and see what the wait is for Haunted Mansion or maybe head over to Big Thunder because I haven't ridden Big Thunder yet this trip. Oh, Haunted Mansion's up to 20. I'm gonna head to Big Thunder first. I did ride Pirates two days ago I'd like to try to ride every ride during the event and just see if I can do it. Um, but I am gonna put Pirates kind of lower priority on the list since I did just ride it. Just a reminder, we're still in regular park hours for another 30 minutes. So this isn't the after hours crowd yet. It's kind of a dwindling regular day crowd with after hours. All right, 20 minute wait for Big Thunder. I'm gonna go ahead and ride it. I'm not gonna record it because it's dark and it's hard to see in the dark. Um, but here's some footage of it when I recorded it in the day. Big Thunder, so much fun, always so much fun. So the after hours event is gonna start in seven minutes at 10 o'clock and then fireworks at 11. And now I'm just gonna see what the wait times are. Haunted Mansion is a 50 minute wait. Let's go join the 99 Ghost. Haunted Mansion ended up being a walk-on. I noticed when I walked up it had changed to 13 minutes, which means a walk-on for the Haunted Mansion. So yay. Peter Pan only has a 15 minute wait. Gotta do it.
crowds are like right now. I almost never ride Peter Pan unless I have a lightning lane because it's always so long. So it was nice to go through the queue because there is like an interactive fun queue that I usually miss. So I enjoyed that a lot. Now I'm going to get on the carousel and see if I can get Cinderella's horse. Cinderella's horse. I can't believe I got Cinderella's horse. Now I'm headed to watch Enchantment. And I can't wait. And I'm so excited. But they already roped it off, so I have to go around to Tomorrowland. Tonight, we gather in a most interesting so fast, it has already been called a whole new Disney world. Enchantment again, and we actually sat. So the front few rows of people were sitting. Um, so I got to sit in the front row and watch Enchantment, and it was just wonderful. I love that show so much. Now I'm in a mad rush of people that I think are all going to Tron. That crowd might also be going to Seven Dwarfs. Either that, or they're cutting through Storybook Circus. I still haven't gotten a free snack, so I need to do that. It's 11.20 now, so there is an hour and 40 minutes left. All right. Heading past space right now. Let's see what it says. Five minutes. I'm gonna do space first. Space Mountain down. It was a walk on. Now it's time for Tron. I did not bring a chest harness tonight, so I won't be filming Tron tonight. I'm hoping to film it later in the week. If I do, I'll insert it in this video. But if not, then enjoy some footage from outside the ride, because you can't film on it without a chest harness. Tron is the newest ride at the Magic Kingdom. And it is only available by virtual queue or individual lightning lane, except at special events like tonight, where it's available as a standby. It says 25 minute wait right now. So that was a pretty accurate wait time for Tron, 25 minutes. I did ride it twice. Um, I was debating on if I was gonna ride it twice or not. But since it's so hard to ride on a regular day, I thought, why not? So I'm going to try to hit up Seven Dwarfs Line Train, and that'll probably be my last ride. I also haven't gotten any free snacks yet, um, so I do need to get some snacks. I have had so much fun during this After Hours event. Just remember that just like on a regular park day, you need to make sure you prioritize what you want to do. You may not be able to do everything that's offered, and that's okay, but just make sure that you know your priorities and make sure that you get those done. I will say I also really want to do the after hours event at Hollywood Studios just for the rare characters that are there. And also because I'd probably ride Tower like 10 times in a row. Get me a Mickey Premium and a Diet Coke and go stand in Mine Train. Look at that empty park. It's just magical. It's 
the Mickey ice cream sandwich. You probably can't see it very well with the lighting, but it's just your standard Mickey ice cream sandwich. It's only fitting I end the night on mine train since I'm dressed like the evil queen. The wait for mine train says 20 minutes. It's dark and you probably can't see me again, but I'm just gonna enjoy this last ride on mine train. I'm gonna put some footage from another time when I rode on here. Got a popcorn and a coke to go. I think these events are great for anybody who wants to be in the park when it's not quite as crowded or who wants to ride a lot of rides. Well it's 1 a.m. I'm on Main Street USA and it's time for me to head out. I really enjoyed this after hours event. I got to ride on Cinderella's horse. I got to see Enchantment which I love and Happily Ever After and I got to ride Tron twice and a lot of other rides. So Overall, I think the night was a success. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and make sure you ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great night. Here's one last view of the castle.